I think there are two things, two musical uh, details that characterize the tango. One is the end of so many tangos, and the other is the Habanera rhythm, which is the one of the things that went from Latin America to Spain and then came back Habanera, the name says it comes from Cuba, from Havana, went to Spain, reached its most famous point with Bizet's Carmen. This relentless uh, uh, rhythm uh, of a medium slow tempo that keeps going is very much part of, of the tango. You don't get it always with the accents, but you get very often. It's a kind of typical tango and then you get a relentless rhythm with the, with the free uh, uh, melody on top. And the end, the two chords, of course, this is a very important musical point, which is a principle of all tonality, of tension and relaxation, of opening something and closing it. Or oh, minor, if you want, it doesn't matter. And then you get... And this is why the accentuation always has to be yeah, a lot, which is a kind of brutal, I would say, uh, naked, uh, ill-defined and unrefined example of uncontrolled temperament. You know, pom pom. And this has nothing to do with the, with the tango. This, of course, is also borrowed uh, from, from, especially from Spanish music. from Albanese or even in quiet pieces like Evocacion from Iberia also, where the piece comes to an end and still come the bells. And the piece is over actually and then comes